All right, here we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And as I say that, we have, whoops, we have Aranos against Raw. Interesting. Um, Aranos against Raw, we're on Alfheim, three starting Caribou, okay? And uh, I guess there's not much to say about Loomberg's gold mine other than it's there whether he likes it or not. <laughs> Um, if you guys remember, if you missed the previous game, Loonberg used all three of his vetoes on that previous game. Or, you know, on the previous map. So, and Surtok used one. So two vetoes left for Surtok. And Loonberg, he's just gonna have to suck it up and deal with this gold mine. Um, Joe, how are we feeling about the gold mine? Yeah, it's not great again. <laughs> Hopefully he defends it properly this time. <laughs> Um, how early, if you have a gold mine like this, um, for the viewers, um, and I guess for Loonberg to know if, if he goes back and watches the VOD, how early would you start walling this in your build order? Uh, I would probably throw up an early wall, yeah. And I would, like for this gold mine as well, I, I feel like you'd want a second tower there. But how Just early is what I'm saying? Uh, like literally at 4.30, I would say. Like as soon as you, st or before you're advancing, or no? Well, I would get the tower as soon as I hit classical, yeah. What about the walls though? You, you could do them in archaic, yeah, as soon as you got the gold. There you go, everybody. Okay, um, well, let's go take a look at uh, Sir Talk's base. I don't know, I mean, he's got his back, uh, Caribou. He's going for the forward uh, the forward deer, okay. And then just a short little hop, skip, and a jump away, we see a second group of deer. So, assuming he's probably going to have map control, that's, that should be nice for his eco. Um... So we'll see. And we have the forward scout. He's going to see the tower and uh, gold mine soon enough. Um, so he's going to know. He's going to be pressuring that, that bad boy. I'm going to reveal the uh, map real quick. I think that the previous game, um, the previous game, maybe the gold mine might have been. Well, what do you think, Joe? Was the previous map, was the previous gold mine better or worse than this one? Uh, I'd say equally bad. Yeah. Do you think the forest, I mean, again, this forest is far away, so he's, if he is going to wall it, it's going to, well, I guess it's not too bad. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, it's just convenient when you have a forest maybe like all over here, so he just needs to focus on walling one specific side of the gold mine, but honestly, looking at this, with especially with fast uh, Rhinos units, it's not like, I mean, if he walls here, they can, well, they're just going to be all over him, I suppose. Yeah, it's really open. Okay, well, here, let me, there we go. Well, at least he has close Arox. Um, I mean, Lundberg's scouting isn't all that great. You don't really expect it to be all that great. Oh, speaking of scouting, um, gold mines, very, very interesting. In fact, we might have almost a repeat of the previous game. Um, I mean, it looks like as for a second gold mine, depending on what Lundberg, what kind of map control he has, I mean, there, he has this really forward one, um, and then this one up here to the top side with wolves. Let's see what he's able to do. I like the I like the wall up here, of course. What do you, Joe? What do you think is more important? Secure the towers with walls, or secure the area mm -hmm. with walls? I'd wall check the towers, definitely, probably first, I guess, and then throw up a couple walls after. I guess he's got to rush his Templar as well to make sure he's not too delayed in advancing. Yeah. Okay, Shelby, how we feeling? We feeling confident? Uh, yeah, I think the map is pretty, pretty okay. I don't... I mean, Titok has pretty much two choices here. So, uh, I will see what he's gonna do. I mean, you can see he already prepared a wheel rush. <laughs> Well, here's, let's see, okay, this is really interesting. He might not see the bad gold mine. Again, when you kind of transition from diff the different players' perspectives, um, it can bug out a little bit, like you can tell, you know, it's a little bit funky here, but I really wonder if he can see the gold mine or not. I think maybe no, honestly. I think maybe no. He's, he stood his oracle there for a bit, but uh, I don't know if the, the line of sight expanded all the way. So we might be talking about all this aggression on the gold mine, and he might be going like, well, I guess nah. I mean, he's, he's not going 2TC or anything. Counter barracks coming up right away. Anyway, even so, it might be really interesting um, to see how, how aggressive he goes on the gold mine. 
Okay. I like Lumber what Lumberg's doing right here. I think we know what uh, what Joe talked to him about <laughs> during the uh, little intermission in between games. <laughs> I think I think is maybe is a little late on walls. Well, so Joe, would you be going for walls or a tower right now? You did mention 4:30, and it is five minutes right now. I think both would be reasonable. Yeah. Um, doesn't have a whole lot of gold in the bank. Okay, here we go in racks and cracks. So far, double double counter barracks, okay? He's going for a Terma spam. He sees the hunt, that's nice. But Lundberg was able to take all mo well, I mean, pretty much most of the second Aurochs and, you know, the first one as well. Okay. There we go, up through Ta. Oh, he wasn't even up classical. Of course he's not building a tower yet. He wasn't even up classical yet. <laughs> Okay, well, at this point in time, that gold's looking pretty safe, especially considering there's no Terma, uh, or sorry, there's no Mermillo to do uh, hack damage against the wall. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's open right there. Am I? Like, I'm not crazy, right? That looks like a big yeah. old fat gap right there. Hello. Look at that gap. Ooh. Look at that gap. Interesting. Interesting. But the real question is whether or not Sir Talk sees that gap. Is he gonna pick off the vill? Ouch. A vill down. Ouch. A vill down. That was quite unnecessary, but nice little bit of a nice little pick there for Sir Talk. It's a bummer to lose HP on a hero uh, Terma, but you know, not too shabby. Taking a forward second TC. Um, rain coming in. All right, we got the armory coming up. All right. Um, uh, Shelby, what do you think about... Oh, God, he's going for three TCs. Shelby, three TCs. Pretty darn quickly. Thoughts? Yeah, I like I like it because there is plenty of fun, so yeah, I think it's pretty worth. Okay. I think it's going to be really interesting um, which gold mine Lundberg decides go to go to. Um, I mean, it should be pretty easy one if he eventually has the gold to take this back TC. Um, but even so, like the gold, his forward TC, you know, the forward gold, I don't know, it, it might take Sir Talk some time to get a strong, um, land army going and, you know, to secure map control. Um, but even so, okay, up through Hathor, he'll be up at about, uh, 8.15-ish. Not too bad of a time, not too bad. Does, he doesn't see that gap right there. He doesn't see that gap. He's just gonna go for, uh, he's just gonna try and take it down. Well, okay. Okay, so Joe, um, he's going heroic against 3TC, um, 3TC, uh, Atlantean. Would you go for Skin of the Rhino? Interesting, okay? Skin of the Rhino being researched in the temple. Um, would you try and go for any type of Migdal units or, uh, I don't know, I mean, Pre Siege? He, I guess priest. Well, he's not going for priest siege for sure. That's way too many farms for that. Nothing on wood, so I guess he's going for maybe fast mythic. Interesting. Fast mythic with a forward as shit gold mine. I like the fast mythic. I feel like it can definitely pay off if he has a good push. Okay. Well, we'll see. Ooh, nice little garrison there into the rock. I don't think that's worth it. Trying to fight against six hero terma and boom, Petsuko's down. I think that's. Oops. Can you get the rock too? Who? Ooh. Close. Close. Another little volley. Okay, so let's see. Fast Mythic, um, Son of Osiris. Son of Osiris into what? Rax units, some Migdal units. Migdal's expensive when you go Fast Mythic like that. He only has 700 gold um, left in his... Uh, left in his. Uh, so that gives him about 1,000 gold to work with. Um, is it worth it to spend 400 of it on a Migdal early? Wait, he has a trade in case. True. Even so. He's still... Oh! Ouch, losing a hero, Terma. 
There, he should. Okay, he's got to know. Finally! He sees the gap, people. He sees the gap. That changes things. That I mean, there's only 400 gold left, but, I mean, again, when you don't have that much to work with, that's a crucial 400 gold. So let's say, I mean, is Sir Talk going to sit in there on that gold mine? Nice. Okay. All right. All right. I mean, a watch it in defense against five hero terma. That's not gonna. That's not gonna work out all too well. Is he gonna miss micro? Ooh, that's a lot of crucial HP. Um, off of that, off of that hero terma, sitting under the tower fire. I don't think that's necessary. Here come the merms. Interesting. He's just going balls to the wall, right into the. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Didn't quite get the rock. I don't think I'm a fan of this maneuver to just run around under okay. tower and TC fire. I think that is very unnecessary. You're not going to get the pharaoh. If if that's what he was looking for, looking for a pharaoh to kill, it's a decent idea. But I mean, ultimately, I don't know if it's worth it. And boom, there's son of Osiris. Okay, so Son of Osiris definitely shreds um, shreds classical Atlantean army. So let's see what he's able to do, okay? Throwing up a Migdol over here near the TC and pretty far away from the gold mine. I feel like that's a little bit of an awkward position. What do you feel, uh, Joe? Do you agree? Is that awkward or is it just me? Uh, I guess if he gets it up, it's good. Yeah, but indeed. A runner should be pressure on that. Yeah, if if, uh, if Sir Talk did not lose that army, just running around in the base, he could definitely have a um, have all that army in right there. But boom, there's a Migdol. There we go. No problemo. That might that might cost Sir Talk the game. I mean, by all means, he's up to 26 citizens, so I mean, he's sitting pretty eco-wise. Sitting pretty pretty eco-wise, but even so, not pressing that gold mine, not pressing the Migdol. That could shoot him in the foot. He might have shot himself in the foot. Going for a TC as well. Interesting. Dropping a couple more military barracks. I can't remember. Is there a way I can see if they're advancing or not? I can't remember. Aside from clicking on there. Well, there we go. He is. No, He's up I, through... I think it's only on Vubli. It's only on Vubli, right? It's kind of hard to... I mean, it's been a long time since I've you know, been casting games, so I can't quite remember the differences. Well, okay, um, I think those units are going to die. Oh, chaos on the mummy. Okay, you got a mummy and a camel. <laughs> eh. I think the mummy just killed the rock. Well, I mean, okay, so they got a rock and a camel and a mummy for one of his chaos charges. Eh. I've seen worse. I've seen worse, right? All right, so we're going for we're going for you know dig deep in the Contarius spam. He's gonna have heavy Contarius here in a second. A couple of dead citizens, I expect. There we go. Two dead citizens. Not too big of a deal. I mean, he's down to 24. He has three TCs. He can rebuild those puppies. Um, you know, easy enough. Chariot out. Looking about. Camels. Um, I feel like this is exactly what Lundberg wants. He wants to just distract the um, distract the army. I guess there's not a whole lot of army that Sirtok has right now, but just give himself some time. Just gotta buy more time, 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 time. Get his eco up and going. Get his buildings out, etc. Man or down, all right. Contaria spam. That's really interesting. Contaria spam against um, Camel Chariot. I'm not sure what I think about that. Um, I don't know, thrown in some destroyers as well. There's a couple of Arcus there um, also. He's up at his pop limit, 125, at least for now. Oh, that's because he lost a manor, that's why. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure what I think about this, other than I'd like to see, okay, there's, I'd like to see Catapult coming out pretty quickly. Um, you know, Zico isn't doing too bad, so I'd like to see Catapult coming out take these buildings down a little bit faster. I think that I kind of like this aggressive build. It's kind of risky, you know, right in Son of Osiris and whatnot, but yeah, it can maybe pay off. Let's see if it can pay off. I guess if Lundberg has all of his army too far away and he's not protecting Son of Osiris, yeah, he could run into a sketchy situation here. 
Ooh, well, okay. Not quite, not quite. Hecate, interesting. Do we see a Hecate or a Tartarian Gate right on the uh, Migdal, possibly? Boom, there it is. Son of Osiris is there. Let's see what kind of damage we can maybe get. This, man, this is interesting. You don't, I mean, with uh, Sir Talk, do you stay here with your army? Do you go maybe for this main TC and let, you know, the Tartarian Gates spawn, just mess around here? Yeah. Looks like you that's really maybe what he's doing. To just go on the other side. I, I mean, there's a couple units raiding here, which is decent, but I mean, he's got some serious problems over here. Losing that Migdal was big. That was, although he has another one right away, but still, that's a lot of crucial time to build military that he just lost. You know, five destroyers. Okay. Do we think he's going to be able to push in and take the TC down? Uh, maybe. Yeah. He doesn't have medium infantry, so yeah. That's true. No medium infantry, but he does have a interesting, interesting, a shifting sands and a shockwave. Nice. The Tartarian Gate is at about half HP. I actually need to keep an eye on Son of Osiris. Where's Son of Osiris? He, he did ship the. Oh, Son he shifted. His, oh, there we go. I thought he shifted the Vils over to the uh, Tart Gate. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Okay. Tisa. All right. So that's not going down. I think. I think. Dude, chill out. Go back, go back, go back, chill out. At this point in time, maybe shift back over to this side. He has a line of side over here, so we can see that this uh, Tartarian Gate is its going to go down pretty quickly. Again, what's his bucket? Lumberg does have skin of the rhino, so his vills are stronger, but even so, he's lost a fair amount of vills here. He's down to 50, 51 vills. What do we think, Shelby? Should he stay here? Continue pressure here against Son of Osiris and the TC? Should he switch it up and go over here? That Tart Gate is no, actually still he, up. He has to wait the Tartan Gate to, to get it, to, to be destroyed to switch. And then switch over afterwards, I think I agree. We'll see though. It's close to going down. Should go down here in just a second. I'll keep it selected, guys. Boom, there it is, it's down. <clears throat> And also, if Son of Osiris starts walk, walking over this way, if he switches up his point of attack, he could maybe, with his fast units, if he sees Son of Osiris, kind of catch him out in the open, possibly. We'll see. We'll see. Third TC for uh, what's his bucket as well. Market coming up. No trade just yet. Well, here we go. Interesting. Catapult out. Forward palace with masons. Fire Siphon's coming out. How are we feeling? What do you guys think? Who has the advantage at this point in time? Son of Osiris is still serious shit, but... Well, I think Singlerberg is... Uh, I think Siotok is in good position, but just need Re to, to kill Son of Osiris. And I think as soon as Lundberg loses Son of Osiris, he won. Yeah, there's no way Lundberg wins this. It's over. Boom, there's Son of Osiris, and I think that's the nail in the coffin. GG, there yeah. it is. All right, Sir Talk takes game number three. So we are at 2-1, everybody. Interesting. Very interesting. There we go. Okay, so, interesting. What do you, uh, let's see. Uh, by all means, guys, go go into your respective discords. Um, I'm just gonna do my thing here for the next couple of minutes. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's look at the, uh, let's look at the post game real quick. Holy what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> 20. Okay, so Sir Talk had 29 units killed and 87 lost. <laughs> Whereas Loonberg, he had a positive KD, like 107 killed and 64 lost. He must have lost a lot more than I thought trying to take down that Tartarian gate. Wow. It's, let's check his Civ population there we go 63 boom all the way down to 48 so he lost almost about 20 vils almost um taking out that tartarian gate man that was clutch that timing that timing with the uh you know taking out that migdol i feel like that was clutch additionally i also think that lundberg um being aggressive and going out for that raid um i don't know if it i mean it was thinking back 
uh, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, right? So looking back, it's like, well, having his army down there split like half and half, I think that kind of, you know, she, I don't know, I don't know if it necessarily shot him in the foot, but it kind of gave Sir Talk an opportunity to push forward with army, um, and then push forward with army here. And he didn't really have much army at all to defend against this Tartarian Gate, so I don't know. I think, looking back, it was maybe a bad decision, but at the same time, maybe it wasn't all that bad of a decision. Um, you know, from his perspective, trying to do some raiding, try and stave off the pressure, etc. I'm not sure. That was that was really interesting. I think. I mean, it was nice, nice execution. It was a little. I think that Lumberg did a lot, but obviously he did a lot better securing his gold mine. He still had a super late advance. So if Sir Talk went straight up 430, and you know, Merm talks or Merm Terma, he could have done some serious damage here on this gold mine again. But again, I don't think he saw it. I don't think he scouted it, which is interesting.